Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the look of the title, I will be reviewing all of the new products from Wet n Wild. So that includes their foundation, their concealer, and as well their face powder. And the thing that I'm most excited about is their liquid lipstick. The way I'm gonna do this video is I am first going to do like a first impression by putting it on my face. I haven't tried it at all. So I'm going to first do that in first impression and then I'm going to be wearing it throughout the whole entire day and then at the end of the day I'm going to give you guys my final review of the product, how it actually were and what I, what I feel about it, you know? So if you guys are interested in knowing uh, my first impression and review on these products then just keep on watching. Alright my love, so to start out I'm first going to be priming my skin. I always prime my skin no matter what foundation I use, even if it's high end, drugstore, whatever it is. So I, for the purpose of the video, since I always wear a primer, I will be adding my L'Oreal Miracle Blur Primer to my skin and then we'll move on to the foundation. All right, to start out with this foundation, this is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got mine in the shade Bronze Beige and basically this comes in one fluid ounce. This foundation is meant to wear whenever you're gonna be taking photos or whatever, but of course we're under lights, so we're gonna see if that is true. Um, it's not supposed to give you a white flashback when you take um, flash photos or anything like that that so we are going to see how this works it comes with a paddle brush that is so weird but it's pretty cool I guess you could say instead of just you know pouring it onto your hand I'm gonna be trying half of my face with a brush and then half of the other face with a sponge to see how they both work out with a brush and a sponge oh looks like it is my color Mm, I could right away tell that this isn't a medium coverage foundation. It's sort of like a light coverage foundation, in my opinion, because of the fact that I can still see my little freckles. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I can still see a little bit of my freckles peeking through. So far, I like it the way it blended out with the brush. It doesn't look streaky or patchy or anything. And the foundation I actually doesn't doesn't feel like heavy or anything. But now I'm gonna blend it out with the sponge. Hmm. To be completely honest, I'm so far really loving it. It looks so natural. And I think I prefer it with the sponge. Just because it was so much easier and faster to blend it out, but on top of that, it make it made it look more natural, if you know what I mean. So, so far, I really love it. What do you think? Good Right? Honestly, I am impressed, and so far, I have to say I really love it. It is so weird. Just because, just for the fact that it's not that I don't I have something against the drugstore foundations or anything, but I don't like light coverage foundations, and you guys already know that because I like my full coverage. But for a light coverage, this looks so beautiful and natural. It gives you this natural finish. It doesn't look super matte or super dewy or anything. It just looks like skin, but so good. Like it just made my skin so even, and I can still see my little freckles. I really love it. <laughs> so now to test out the concealer. <gasps> you guys know concealers is something I'm very, very picky on because of the fact that I have lots of like little fine lines under my eyes. So we're gonna see how this baby works out. This is as well the same as the foundation of Photo Focus Concealer. And this one comes with 0.29 floor ounce and I got mine in the shade Light Medium Beige. So let's go ahead and test this baby out. Oh, it doesn't really grab on to a lot of the concealer. Okay. The color seems to be nice, and honestly, it is covering my under eye circles. It really did cover my under eye circles. But I do notice it sort of starting to settle into my fine lines, so I'm going to move on and blend out the other side now. I definitely prefer it with the sponge. I mean, it still did a good job of covering up my under eye circles. This one just looks a little bit more 
hydrated and a little bit more natural looking than this one this one i could tell like i am definitely wearing makeup <laughs> now we have the foundation and the concealer on now we're gonna move on to the powder so this is the powder this is their photo focus press powder and i got mine in the shade natural beige um, and it's supposed to work exactly the same as the foundation there's not supposed to be any flashback when you take flash photography or just look super white <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pack my brush. All right, the powder is very sheer. I felt like it, I barely applied any, and even though I felt like I was packing on my brush, but it looks very sheer, and I mean, it did set it. It looks completely matte my face now so now i'm gonna use this one as well as the face powder i mean i'm just calling it a bronzer because i wanted to try it out to see if it would work as a bronzer so this one is um in the color cocoa so we're gonna see how it works out yep put in color I'm going to go ahead and add my highlighter now. This one as well is from the Wet n Wild. And this one is their highlighting gold bar, which is limited edition. I actually found mine on eBay for like five bucks. So I think they still have some on eBay. Oh, baby. Oh, damn. Damn. All right, guys. So I have 12 shades. The 12 shades that I have is first I have this one that is called Video Vixen. This is the one that I'm going to be using to test out on my lips right now. But let me show you guys the other colors first. Um, then we have this hot Barbie pink one that is called Oh My Dolly. And then we have this peachy nude that is called Nudish Peach. <laughs> then we have this reddish orange color that is called Flame on the Game. Flame of the Game, I mean. Next up, we have this super pale nude um, with a brown undertone. And this one is called Nudie Patuti. And then the other one that we have here is this pink nude or like baby pink. And it's called Pink Really Hard. And then we have this chocolate vampy color that is called Goth Topic. And then we have this darker nude um, with a little bit of a reddish pink undertone, I could say. And it's called Give Me Mocha. Then we have this red one, this flaming red one. And this one is called Missy and Fierce. Next we have this like berry color. And this one is called Berry Recognize. Next we have a, a coral shade. And this one is called Coral Corruption. <laughs> the last one that we have here is this pinky mauvey nude. And this one is called Rebel Rose. All right, so let's go ahead and test this baby out. It feels super creamy. Dang, talk about pigmentation. Woo! All right, so that is how the liquid lipstick looks, but it's still not dry. And on top of that, I did notice that since my lips are a little bit chapped right now, I can tell that it grabbed on to the little dry patches really quickly, like real quick. And other than that, oh, that made it worse. So it's not completely dry, but that took about, that literally took about five minutes. It was 11.05 when I checked and now it's 11.10, so that definitely took five minutes for it to completely almost dry. Mm, I'm not going to put my lips together again because that made it fail the first time and I had to reapply a little bit more. Oh, there's a little white dot right there. So as you guys can tell, it's 11.10 and what I'm going to do is go on about my day. Basically today is my editing day, answering emails, and I'm about to jump on a conference call. So I'm just going to be pretty much chilling at home working, you know, but um, I'm going to be checking back with you guys at the end of the day before I leave to the gym. That's when I take off my makeup and let you guys know how it held up. So far right now, I am really impressed and in love with all of these products. Um, the liquid lipstick, the only thing that annoyed me was just the fact that it took so long to dry. But other than that, I don't have any other complaint about it. So yeah, I'm going to check back with you guys at the end of the day. Alright guys, so now it is 6.55, oh, 
6.55 p.m. I am about to take off this makeup and get ready for the gym. So I wanted to give you guys my final review of the foundation, concealer, powders, and as well the liquid lipsticks. So, uh, can you guys see this? It's like wearing off. And on the inner corner, on the corners of my lips, it completely came off. So that is very normal for a liquid lipstick or any lipstick in general. Um, when I smile, you can see a little bit of the cracks. And keep in mind that I ate greasy food today. So um, for it to look like this, I feel like it looks amazing because most of the time it would be coming off already. And I don't know, I just love that it didn't feel super dry at all. So far, the liquid lipstick, I have to say, I give it about a nine. Only for the fact that I didn't like how long it took for it to dry. I absolutely hate waiting for a while for it to dry because anything could happen in those five minutes, you know what I'm saying? The liquid lipstick, I give it a nine. Now, let's talk about the foundation because that is another, the second thing that I loved. Um, the foundation, as you guys can see, it didn't make me super oily or anything. I mean, I am having a little bit of a dry skin right now issue, so um, I'm not producing as much oil as I normally do, but it didn't make me oily or anything. It did um, settle into my laugh lines because I was smiling, so as you guys can see, I don't know. Let's zoom in. Even down here, can you guys see? It just like kind of settled into these lines right here. So... That was one of the bad things that I noticed. Now, since you guys already zoomed in into my face, um, let's talk about the concealer now. Um, as you guys can see, it definitely, it kind of wore off, to be honest. Um, it definitely settled in, as you guys can see, my little fine lines right there. I I have to say I don't like the concealer. I, I mean, it did a good job at the beginning, just when I had just applied it, but once I put the powder on, I was like, ugh. I don't think I'm gonna like it. And I look tired, to be honest. I don't know, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, my eyes look tired. So the concealer, I definitely am not a fan of, but definitely the foundation I am, cause this is normal for me. So that I don't really mind and it still is on. It didn't wear off or anything like that. Also keep in mind that um, the whole day, all I did was be on the computer editing and answering emails and stuff like that. So my job didn't consist of me running around like crazy or doing any errands or anything like that. So I was just pretty much chill sitting down on a computer the whole entire time basically. And then I would get up, you know, do the normal things, eat, go to the bathroom, things like that, you know? So I didn't, my day today didn't really require much. But, um, so I wanted you guys to keep that in mind. Other than that, the powder, I mean, it just, you know, it did the same as any other powder, I would say. So, I mean, it's good. I feel like these products were really good. The foundation, I definitely have to say I give it about an 8 out of 10. Only because, um, it settles into your lines and everything. Like, you know, your face expressions, it settled in. Um, but for it to last this long damn <laughs> you know it's really good the concealer oh, i give it about a three to be honest just be i i'm trying hard to like judge it and be honest with you guys and this is a concealer that i definitely would not wear um just for the fact that one it kind of wore off two it definitely settled into my lines like dang you guys can definitely tell and three it makes my eyes look tired now right now i look tired and I'm not really even, I'm not even tired. I'm ready to go to the gym. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and that it was very helpful for you guys. If you guys want me to do more videos like this and you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. That would really help me a lot to know that you guys actually enjoyed it. And that way I do more future videos like this. Um, and then also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you're part of this family and as well be updated with my future videos. But other than that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you guys and i will see you guys all in the next video bye Mwah. i need to take a shit babe all right okay my friends now this okay my friends